Here is the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado LT. In this video, I'll be going over what trims are available with the Chevy Silverado 1500s, what safety features you get with this LT trim, the exterior, the interior, the infotainment system, and the pricing. If you guys are new here, my name is Jason and I do reviews on vehicles here in Canada, so be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Also, thank you to Georgetown Chevy for allowing me to review this LT. Be sure to reach out to them and ask for Doug. Now, starting with the different trims that you can get when it comes to the Chevy 1500s, there are 9 trims to pick from. This will be the WT, Custom, Custom Trail Boss, LT, RST, LT Trail Boss, LTZ, High Country, and the ZR2. Also, some of these trims you can get in two-wheel drive as well along with different configurations like the regular cab standard or long bed, double cab standard bed, and the crew cab short or standard bed. And each of these trims will have their own unique features and options as well as exterior looks and interior looks. Now as for the safety features you'll get with this LT trim, this includes the automatic emergency braking, front pedestrian braking, forward collision alert, following distance indicator, and the lane keep assist with lane departure warning. Taking a look at what powers this LT, standard with this trim you do get the 2.7 liter turbo max engine, however you also get 4 other variations to pick from. And this LT has the upgraded 5.3 liter Ecotec 3 V8 engine, this is going to give you 355 horsepower and 383 pound foot of torque. Now, towing wise with this truck and with the crew cab short bed configuration, and with this engine specification that it has, you're able to tow about 9,300 pounds when equipped properly, or with the max trailing package, you can tow about 11,000 pounds when equipped properly. The front of the LT, I think it has a pretty unique look to it from the rest of the models available. Especially if you're a fan of chrome, then this will be right up your alley. At the bottom, half of the bumper is in this black molding, which also has the front tow hooks in black. Then the upper portion of the bumper is all in chrome. Then you move into the grille area, and this has some nice styling to it, and you'll notice it mainly has gloss black accents. Then you got the Chevy logo there in the middle, and right under that is this chrome bar that stretches the length of the grille. Now under the front lights, you do have this empty area, which also houses these vents in the corners, which are functional. Then are these nice looking LED reflector headlamps that also add to the look of the front. Coming to the side of the truck, this LT is in the crew cab short bed configuration. You can also get the LT in the double cab standard bed and the crew cab standard bed. And this truck is painted in the nice blue metallic color. Around the windows, you do get the black trimming and the door handles do come in body color. The side mirrors are in both black and have some chrome. And on the fender is this Z71 badge since this is an extra option added to this truck. This will add a few things like the off-road suspension, skid plates, hill descent control, 2-speed auto track transfer case, and the dual exhaust. And as for the wheels, typically you do get these 17-inch wheels. However, this truck does have the True North Edition Plus package, so this is going to give you the 20-inch aluminum wheels with the Grayson painted pockets. Coming to the rear of the LT, and like the front, back here you've also got the chrome bumper, and on the corners will be the built-in steps. There's also the dual exhaust outlets that I mentioned, and in the middle there you've got the hitch, then above you've got the usual towing outlets. On the tailgate will be the chrome Silverado badge, then the large Chevrolet lettering, and the chrome LT badging. Up by the tailgate button area will be the rear view camera and the hitch camera which does come with the True North Edition Plus. As for the tail lights, these are just the normal lights. Opening up the tailgate inside, there's no spray on bed liner, but you do have the built in hooks on all of the corners, along with the LED bed lighting on both of the sides, and a 120 volt outlet. Over on the rear glass is the power sliding window, which is packaged with the same True North Edition Plus. Coming into the rear of the truck, the door trim area is all black, and at the bottom, there's a good amount of space here. There's also a speaker next to that, which has chrome around it. The middle area of the door, you do have some leatherette trimming with the contrast stitching, and up top, you do have this chrome piece with the shiny wood trim, which you will see throughout the interior. As for the rear seats, standard, you do get the cloth seats, 
And on these, if you look closely, you do have this diamond-like patterning and also these patches on the sides. Now, there's no center drop down here where you usually have the cup holders. Also, lifting up the rear seats, even though it's a completely open area, you can still store some of your stuff here. On the rear of the driver and passenger seats, you do have some more storage pockets. And there's no rear center console, but you do get the venting, USB ports, and an outlet back here. Coming to the front of the LT, it's exactly like the rear, but you do have a slightly bigger area at the bottom and a much bigger speaker. Then are just the usual window and side mirror controls. As for the front seats, these are just like the rear and are super comfy, even in cloth. And standard with this model, you do get the bench seating, so for some, this may be a big benefit. As for the interior color options that you can get, it's either this black one that you see here, there's also this beige color as well, and you can get both cloth and leather in this. The driver's seat does come power adjustable, and you do have this chrome door sill piece. Underneath are just the pedals and hood latch release. Then above will be the electronic parking brake, different modes, trailer button, and the lighting controls. And the steering wheel is manual adjustable. Entering inside of the Silverado, the dashboard has hard and soft material with the contrast stitching. There's also the speakers there in the corners. And then you have this sharp and nice looking fully digital cluster area. And I think this is very nice looking compared to its rivals. And on here, you have the nice detailed work. And there's different things that you can display about the truck. Not only in the center here, but also in each of the sections. So in the RPM section and the speed section. And even the bottom section here that you see, you can even change the sizing of this. Now the steering wheel does come wrapped in leather and is also heated. If you look closely on the sides, you do have this granite like trimming. On the left side of the steering wheel, you'll have the cruise control, forward following distance and the heated steering wheel controls. The other side has the Bluetooth, phone and cluster controls. And behind the steering wheel are also the media controls along with the auto high beam, wiper and indicator controls. There's also the shifter up here as well since there's no center console on this. And on both of the cluster and the touchscreen, you do have this nice animation that plays. And like I was mentioning, since there's no center console here, you technically don't have a center armrest either if you have a third person sitting here. However, once this seat is folded down, you do have the cup holders on here and some open storage spaces. Plus, you can open this area up as well for a bit of storage. Now, here will be the start-stop button and the trailer brake controller. Then are the usual temperature controls with the heated seat buttons and you've got more USB ports. And on the dash, you'll have more of that chrome and shiny wood trim like I was mentioning. And right under the screen here, you have a few buttons like the lane keep, auto start stop, tailgate, hazards, traction control, and the hill descent control. Then is the super sleek looking 13.4 inch touchscreen with Google built in. On the left side here, you do have these icons, which is pretty much what I'll be going over. Plus, there is a smaller screen to the right. So on here is the audio section where you'll find the AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, Google News, USB, Alexa, and Podcasts. Then you've got the map section, which has Google Maps, of course. Next is the phone section once you have it paired. Then you've got the camera section where you obviously see your rear view camera. There's also the hitch camera, and you can turn the guidelines on or off. Then it'll just be the Google Assistant and Play Store. Now swiping over to the next page will be the trailering section where you can add trailers and whatnot. Then you've got the climate section or you can use the buttons below. Moving over to the settings section, here you can fine tune other things about the truck. Then it's just other things like the Wi-Fi hotspot. You've got Alexa there again, my Chevy, and then you've got the podcast and Google News again as well. Now on the smaller screen, you can also go through a few different things. And above the screen and on the dash is more open space. Up top is the mirror, also the garage door buttons, interior lights, SOS, OnStar, and the rear power sliding window controls. Here's the key fob and what it looks like for the LT. Now, if you come around to the passenger side, the chrome and shiny wood trim continues over. Plus, you can open this section up for extra room and you've already got the glove compartment. And here's the window sticker for this Silverado 1500 LT. You've got the standard stuff and the optional things added to this truck. The MSRP you see is in Canadian dollars and this may be minus any dealer discounts and manufacturing rebates if they're being offered. Well, that does it for the review on this 2024 Chevrolet Silverado LT. Let me know what you think of this truck. Do you love it or do you hate it?